On the 7th of May, the chairman and the vice chairman of the IWC, the International Whaling Commission, issued a press release. That press release was hosted on the website of the IWC itself, and it was targeted at governments, the press, uh, civil society, uh, NGOs like WDCS, and also at the public. The press release was trying to say, please don't criticise us. Our proposal for the resumption of commercial whaling, well, they call it a peace plan, but their, their proposal for a resumption of commercial whaling really is, is their best efforts to try and make something work. Well, b before we talk about the substance of it, the first thing we have to ask is, should they have used the IWC website to reach out like this? Well, the way I'd approach it is I'm, I'm a taxpayer, and to, to know that the, the, the subscriptions that my country puts in to the IWC are being used to put forward these ideas, the resumption of commercial whaling is a good idea, I really do have to question. Um, I do wonder how many countries actually are going to have a problem with this and how many of you as individual taxpayers will also share that same concern. As to the substance of what they're saying, um, they're asking, this peace plan was given a chance. Well, is it a peace plan? Uh, peace plans are about bringing two sides together. Well, the pro-conservation countries actually never left the table at the IWC. When the moratorium went into place, it was the whalers who rejected it. They rejected it by going whaling under objection. They rejected it by using uh, scientific whaling to keep their commercial whaling industries propped up. And even Iceland, which had to accept it and then came, left the IWC and came back and is whaling under something called a reservation, which one has to question, and I, th I know lots of countries do question whether that's legal, um, have could then use commercial whaling to ramp up the pressure back on the IWC. So is it a peace plan? I don't think so. Is it conciliatory? Good grief, yes it is. It is going out of its way to actually give the whalers a huge chunk of what they want. And for the pro-conservation countries, well, I don't think there's very much in there for them. And that's, at the end of the day, why I think they should be reject rejecting it. How do we make sure that they reject it? Well, we at WDCS have given a set of tools um, on this website where you can actually reach out and actually let governments know how you feel. We've targeted the four main blocks of countries. If you could send an e-protest, uh, just a simple few seconds will actually do it, and we can reach out to them and tell them how you feel about this issue. Then please let your friends know. Let f up to five in one go of your family and friends know that this issue is, is taking place and that it needs their help. WDCS has given you the tools, please join us. We have already over 100,000 postcards from our partnership with the Sea Life Centres around the world, and those are actually going to be going out and making sure that people understand that people are fundamentally opposed to the issue of commercial whaling. Please help us. WDCS will be there representing you, but come and help us through this quite simple act. Um, do it now. If you've already done it, please try and let more people know about it, and we will be there fighting with you to save the whales and not whaling. Thank you.